This video <clears throat> demonstrates using an iMac as a third display for an M1 Mac Mini. The two monitors on the left are a Dell U2718Q 27-inch ultra-sharp 4K monitor and a Dell U2720Q 27-inch ultra-sharp 4K USB-C monitor. The computer on the right is a 2010 iMac 27-inch. The Mac Mini is running Big Sur and the iMac is running High Sierra. We run a program that can set up virtual monitors on the M1 Mini and we'll create one with 2560 by 1440 resolution. <clears throat> as that's the native resolution of the iMac. Uh, what is this set to? Okay. <clears throat> Next, we'll go over to the iMac, and I'm using a separate keyboard and mouse. And we see the Mac Mini, <clears throat> so we'll click on the Mac Mini in Finder, and then we'll click on Share Screen. It asks me for my credentials to connect to the system. <clears throat> and then it pops up a third window. Um, I will maximize this window, and now the iMac is a monitor for the Mac Mini. So I can move windows around from place to place, and there are even spaces on the iMac for screen sharing. So I can go from space to space if I want to. See, if I bring up Firefox, let's drag it over. And let's play a video from Max Tech and see how it performs. The best laptops ever made and one that I am the most sad about. And no, it's not only because of the SSD issue. I've been using both the base model and a higher spec one for about a week now. And in this review, I wanna give you guys my real world experience with these machines. And overall, it is fantastic. Now I have to tell you that we are giving away an M2 MacBook Air, and I don't care where you are in the world, I will pay for the shipping, any fees or tax. Now, the Mac Mini screen share is actually just a space. So if we use our spaces command in on the keyboard with the iMac, we can just switch back to the 2010 iMac and then switch back as a monitor. Um, to exit... We click on the disconnect, well, there's a connection uh, icon in the menu bar. We can just click on it and say disconnect, and it closes the screen sharing session. So, a pretty nice way to reuse an old iMac on an M1 Mini as a monitor and a way to get around the restriction of only two, two monitors <clears throat> on M1 systems. That's all.